Good morning, everybody. This is Mary welcoming you to my channel, Rocky Mountain Gardens. And guys, it's that time of year for spring cleanup and prepping all of my containers, everything for planting. Of course, here in Colorado, we get late snows. I'll show you a picture here of what we had just a day ago. <laughs> we were so thrilled though because you know fire season could be coming and we always in the springtime have high winds here on the eastern side of the mountains of Colorado. So consequently you know fire can be a danger if we don't get enough moisture. So that made us quite happy. And even though it was snow late, it's normal here. They say in Colorado that our heaviest snow months are April, sorry, March, April, and May, I believe. And, you know, that seems to be true each spring, which is why we wait until um, after Mother's Day to plant anything. However, you'll see here in this video how I get my raised bed planted and my containers prepped so that when I am able to go out shopping and buying some plants, I can pop them right in, everything's ready to go for them to start growing and looking beautiful in my garden. Well, anyway, today I wanted to share with you that I got this lovely garden tools set from my friend Winnie, who lives in Quebec. Canada and she has a small company called I think it's pronounced Amy Amila something like that uh, in French it means love it which is what we gardeners do don't we we love our garden spaces <laughs> so let me show you what she sent to me this garden tool set includes some lovely garden gloves you can never have too many of those. And I have to tell you, I have lost so many garden tools in my backyard. You just would not believe it. I will go and buy a new spade at Walmart. And before you know it, it has disappeared. Sometimes I think, oh, I must have left it over at my daughter's house. And then I go over to her place and check it out can't be found. So then I have to go back and buy another spade. And so two sides, sizes of spades came with this garden set, a narrower one and a wider one, beautiful tools. And they're very sturdy. You know how if you buy those tools at the Dollar Tree and when you start digging with them, they just bend not good, but this is very, very sturdy. Well, okay, so let's go on. We have a little garden fork. This is quite a huge set of tools, don't you agree? This is a great tool for weeding. Look at how it's made. It has this prong here, like a little fork for digging out weeds at the root. That is going to be perfect in my yard. Here is a very nice and sturdy cultivator, which you can use to loosen up the soil around your plants without disturbing the roots. And guys, I want to mention that these handles are very ergonomically made and they have a good grip and sort of a, I can't describe it, kind of a rubbery surface that's easy to grab onto. Very well-made tools. This is a tool I was thinking about buying for myself this year. Do you see it right here? Let me show you a little video of how that is used because this is a great thing to have in your collection of tools. <laughs> So friends, here we are at my brick patio area in my garden, and I want to show you how I'm gonna get rid of these dandelions that are growing between the stones. And I'm going to be using this tool I mentioned. 
So first, I'm going to be putting up my garden kneeler and seat. Looks like this. And this was from a Mila, if I'm saying that right, the Canadian company I mentioned. And I can kneel here on these hard stones so that my knees don't get all <laughs> scrunched up on the stone. But with this very narrow edge here, it will work to go between the cracks. And pull out these little baby dandelions right away before they get big long roots. It really works like a charm. And of course, I lost, I bought a very expensive uh, pair of pruners a couple of years ago. And just like my spades, they disappeared. Boy, was I disturbed because they were $50 for that. So this is a fantastic set of pruners that I am so excited to have. This is a fantastic tool. Of course, you know, we all need pruners. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the box is a very nice bag. It has nice handles, pockets on the outside, lots of space in this interior area, and pockets on the other side as well for all of your tools to be placed in and you can carry them in one container around your garden as you're working. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> I just am excited about this gift from Winnie. Winnie, if I didn't pronounce the name of your company correctly, would you let me know? <laughs> All right. So today let's get busy on some of the chores that I need to do before I can plant at the middle of May at least. So we'll just turn around the camera and we'll get started on some of those projects today. Here you can see my raised bed, which is a blank slate right now and I'm going to be prepping it for the summer and for planting the vegetables that I choose. And you might notice that the height of my raised bed is 24 inches. And the reason I did that is because we have a large rabbit population in our neighborhood. And I had read that rabbits cannot jump this high into a vegetable raised bed. So that's why I chose to do that. And let's get started on the preparation. Here I am removing the landscaping pins that hold my drip lines in place. And then I just set the drip lines aside until I'm ready to plant. Because the soil gets compacted down during the winter time, I first like to take my shovel and fluff it up and turn the soil over. Next, I am hauling back some bags of composted manure to add to my soil. I open the five bags of compost and dump them into my bed. And then I take a shovel and mix it into the old soil so that the compost is there to enrich the soil for future growth this summer. And lastly, rake it smooth and break up any large clumps that are in the soil so that it is completely ready for planting time. Here's my bed all smoothed out, ready for planting. And you can see my drip hose here, which I will place between my plants uh, after planting time. I've added these two fences here because I plan to plant cucumber right here and it can climb onto these fences. If you have watched my channel in past summers, you know that I like to use a full new batch of potting soil in my uh, smaller pots. So I usually prepare by filling it up about 
two thirds of the way full. And that way I have room for my new plants when the time comes. Guys, look at this fantastic obelisk that I got at our ARC, which is a charity store here in town for people who have handicaps of various kinds. The price on it was $14.99 and I got it for even less money because I had my senior discount of 15%. So I think it was a little over $12. It's quite tall, I would say about five feet, and I plan to plant a climbing rose bush, if I can find one for zone four, that is, here in this place in my garden next to the fence. I'm so excited that I found this. These go for like $125. Now with my very large containers, I remove some of the soil, the old soil from this big pot. And then I stir it up with my spade nicely and add some beautiful composted dairy cattle manure. You can use dairy cattle, steer, cow, whatever it says. As long as it's composted, it will do the job. This will add many nutrients to the pot for my plantings this summer. And then the next step is to take your trowel and work it into the soil. So when the middle of May rolls around, I will be ready to plant some new beautiful plants. Well, as you can see, things in my garden are not looking <laughs> alive yet. Things have not woken up from their deep winter sleep here in Colorado. And that is just the way it is. We have a short growing season. I did have an arborist come and trim my spring snow crab apple here in order to hopefully prevent the spread of any disease. I was very concerned about fire blight in this tree. So hopefully it will do well this summer and continue to live for years. So here we are at the end of April and things don't look very spring-like. But guys, I hope you'll stay tuned to my channel because I will be doing more videos as my garden wakes up. And we'll be talking about other gardening chores. And I can't wait to show you when I have new plants ready to put in the ground. So thank you very much for stopping by today. And I hope to see you again, as I said. And guys, I am very excited for this gardening season. And I hope you will join me for lots of fun out here in the backyard. Take care, have a happy weekend, and lots of love from me, Mary, at Rocky Mountain Gardens. <laughs>